Hello, this is Lady Gaga, and I love anthrax. <laughs> it was awesome. Fuck you looking at. When I moved out here to Chicago from New York, um, basically took all of our equipment with us and got a rehearsal room and a pretty much a warehouse here that I, that I built and uh, it's where we rehearse and uh, it's where we store our gear. This is basically a world of pre-production started and finished. Um, we banged it out in here, tried to do as much as we possibly could and uh, it's comfortable. Just had a bunch of these songs and I had some new ideas that had just been building up. And once I start playing the riff on guitar, the drum part's immediately there too. Those guys had stuff too. So we got together and we bounced some stuff over each other. And we just started writing songs again. It's exactly the same thing that happened when we did the Spreading the Disease record. We had no singer. And we were in the exact same situation. So we just wanted to just write some songs and that's what we did. We just, you know, bounced off of each other, ideas, you know, with no singer in mind. It was great, you know, it was just, and some things worked, some didn't work. You started late. I'm just you, uh, I thought you were because we're, we're thinking you're going together if, you, if he's hearing this. He's not going to know when to come he's in unless you come do in. it. Right. Oh, you're just showing. Before we knew it, a year had passed, you know, and then six months had passed, and then it's like, wow, it's that long already. Now we have to get moving. But as soon as we had, I think, eight songs under our belt that we felt really strongly with, then we really started moving, you know, and progress, you know, started to happen. One of the weirdest things that we've done making this record is that this record's been done in different places. We did uh, the basic tracks here in, in Chicago. The guitar tracks were done in LA. The bass and vocals were done in New York. Additional guitar stuff was done out here. And we just put it all together. Certain songs had a click on it, and as a drummer, I don't mind playing to a click. 
doesn't really bother me. It's only when I first start out playing to a click that I have to get used to it again. My vote is to try it one click faster. If it doesn't feel good, stop it. Up into the other section. I thought it sounded really fat and solid. Yeah. The, the parts that, that I'm saying you went ahead is the, the pre-chorus. And every time it goes... Because I think I, you know, I automatically want to do it because it just seems like... It wasn't just you, it was him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Naturally, it feels like you want to go to the hair off it. And if it okay. sucks, just, just stop doing the play. Just play a little bit of it if, if it doesn't feel right. When we were recording in Chicago, we did have some uh, issues with headphone mixes. Uh, well, if you could just bring this, the, the volume in here. My, uh, my earphones, my earplugs, whatever, uh, cracked, and that was a little bit of a downer, but it all worked out. Do the eight count. Here we go. Making a click adjustment, one That last take, you were pumping the kick drum. What I'm saying is, it, it felt like you were bringing it down, and then okay. it felt like it wanted to build right back up. Rob uh, does a good job at what he does, you know. And like I said, he pushes, and he'll hear certain things that maybe no one else would hear. I'm fucking Phil Mew. Felt great. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, you want to just get that middle section? Like that little part right there. Try it again. I know you could do it better. Sometimes you may think, oh, dude, I think that's good enough, you know? And it's like, nah, I try it again. And then you go back and listen to it, and I kind of hear what he meant by that. So in that sense, he's just, he's just got a good ear for music, and he likes to get a good performance out of you. So that was one of the reasons why I wanted him to do it. You gotta go with the devil, devil. 